Hey, Con, how are you? Well, I'm doing super great, and congratulations for searching <laughs> the world for the greatest diet known to man. <laughs> You're welcome. It was well, hard. congratulations, and the one you found was the Aztec diet. I'm just curious, who came in second place? Second place would be the Mediterranean, the third is the uh, Asian Triangle, and then fourth would be the Latin American diet. All right, I don't want to make fun of the word chia because you're going to tell us why it's so powerful. I think a chia pet when I hear chia, but I know that's not the Drives me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chia power, what is it and how did the Aztecs harness it? So uh, chia, which you see right here, this is a micro sliced chia, uh, is a very efficient food, the most efficient food. That is, it has a better quality protein than steak in it. It has eight times as many, as much omega-3 fatty acids as uh, salmon. It has six times more calcium than milk, three times more iron than spinach. And Con, as you know, the, the ancient Aztecs, they actually went out to fight with only chia. They go two weeks out there because it was such an efficient and such a great food. The current Tarahumara Indians, uh, they now do these 100 plus mile runs only using chia. I do a 100 mile bike race most weekends using only chia. I did a 32-mile stand-up paddling race from Molokai to Oahu using only chia. So it's a, it's a great food in terms of its energy, its compactness, and the fact that it's so few calories for so many nutrients. Wow. Now, I want to know, for the record, because you have so much passion this morning, <laughs> did you have your chia smoothie? I did. Actually, uh, I get up this morning, and I took a glass of water. I tossed some chia in it because I didn't have time to do the whole smoothie yet. And I just went, uh, with some green tea. Uh, and then when I got here to the studio, I actually took some Greek yogurt, which you can buy off the shelf, put some, some chia into it, and made my own little smoothie. So the key thing is, there's not a lot of preparation. You can do it on the fly like I did this morning. If you have a little bit more time, it takes 90 seconds to make a chia smoothie. I'll make enough for the whole day and just bring them along with me uh, in a thermos bottle. So if I'm ever tempted, I take a little sip instead of having that bag of chips. Well, since many of us will not be traveling to South America, where I'm sure chia is all over the place, how does one find it here in America? So two different ways. Uh, here's one I like. Uh, this is actually uh, called Mila, and it's, uh, it's available online. You can also go to health food stores. They're likely to carry chia. Uh, Whole Foods is likely to carry chia. Just make sure it's a really good brand. I've had some of the crummy stuff, and I felt awful. So make sure it's, it's a good brand and that it is micro-sliced or ground so that it's opened up so your body can get at, at it, and it doesn't just go through your body. Now, the book, as we can see, is more than one page that says eat chia. What, what is it about the rest of the pages that are so important uh, for people to read? So, Con, first of all, it gives you a system. That is, you have the smoothies for phase one, you had a lunch for phase two, and you have these wonderful recipes. The whole back of the book, the terrific recipes. I cook them myself. They're very easy. They taste amazingly great. And as you can see here, you have breakfast, which would be a nice breakfast burrito. You have this uh, Tuscan chicken salad for lunch. You have a wonderful salmon preparation here with uh, some quinoa and uh, asparagus there. So. Uh, wonderful recipes in the rest of the book, but also gives you a rationale. Why does this work? How does it work? How does it work in your real life? How do you add exercise to it? it? Takes you through a whole day in terms of how you manage your day because a lot of us die, we make it till five or six o'clock and then boom, uh, we just eat until, uh, until we drop. So with this, and I, and I tried it myself, you know, I, I wanted to get down to about 190 pounds for bike racing from 208 and I was able to do it surprisingly easily. Even if I starved myself, I couldn't do it on my own, even training five or six hours a day. But with the Aztec diet, I was able to lose the weight, feel great, and really improve all of my numbers, the all important cholesterol, blood pressure, inflammation, and uh, wow. fasting blood sugar. Well, congratulations on the Aztec hey, diet. I have you, to God. ask one question that you mentioned though. What is it like riding 100 miles? Because most of us have never done that. You know, it's so much fun because I always do it in a pack. Uh, you get in the pack and you take your pull out front, you pull back in and you're a great conversation. I, I look at these 100 mile bike races as, as my cocktail party. And because of the Chia, because of the Aztec diet, I have unlimited energy. So when I've ridden the 100 miles and I get to the end of the race, I want to ride back. Wow, you're amazing, Dr. Arnett. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for all the uh, research you did here and for another best selling book. Thank you. Thanks, Con. Look who's here, but Rachel D'Alto, the flirt expert. How you doing? I'm good, how are Things you? Things are hot, sizzling hot. We have the hottest question either of us has ever answered on our website at conjackson.com. It's about relationships and it's something you need to know.
Absolutely. So click, go check it out.